After Sunday's victory over the Washington Wizards, the Bulls have now won two straight. For those that are dead set on tanking, the Bulls have a message for you. Next up for Chicago is a date with the Orlando Magic on Monday night at the United States. And uh, Trubisky said earlier that uh, at a kids camp that you have to think that the Bears will make the playoffs. Uh, do you think that's a good mindset to have coming into this year? I think anytime you count yourself out before the fight, it's a bad mindset. So I really like where Mitch is coming from. You previously said that uh, Chenea is nothing that you haven't seen before. Uh, that being said, have you prepared for this fight like any other fight or uh -huh. uh, have you changed it up a bit? I just prepare for every fight. Like I'm fighting the best fight in the world. Thanks, Asia. From good to bad, there's so much happening this week in sports. So let's get right to it. Sacramento Kings coach Luke Walton is being sued by a former LA sports reporter. Kelly Tennant claims Walton sexually assaulted her before he was named Lakers coach in 2016. Tennant says Walton forced himself on her during a meeting in his hotel room. The Kings released a statement saying they are aware of the situation and are awaiting more information. The NBA has now opened their own investigation. Then 84 seconds after a Capitals disallowed goal, Brett Pesci takes a shot and Captain Justin Williams deflects it going five hole on Brady to Holtby. That seals it. The Canes win 5-2 and Carolina forces a game seven, which is tomorrow night. And there's now three game sevens in these Stanley Cup playoffs. Real quick, the WNBA has reached a multi-year deal with CBS to broadcast 40 games a year. Coverage begins right here with the Chicago Sky when they face the Minnesota Lynx on May 25th. In NBA news, the Detroit Pistons now have the longest playoff losing streak in NBA history, 14 games after they got swept by the Milwaukee Bucks last night. And finally, the Cubs welcome the red-hot LA Dodgers to town tonight. The Dodgers have a 15-9 record and the Cubs are 8-3 in their last 11 games. Asia, I heard word on the street is you're a Detroit Pistons fan, so I'm very sorry to hear about this. I'm from there, so. But I don't think <laughs> no. the Bulls are too much better than that, so. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even going to talk about the Bulls at this yeah. point. <laughs> he is a good NFL quarterback, and QBs are always in high demand. Kaepernick filed a lawsuit saying that the owners were purposely freezing him out of the league. It took two years, but he settled. After Sunday's victory over the Washington Wizards, the Bulls have now won two straight. For those that are dead set on tanking, the Bulls have a message for you. You know, we don't really care about that. You know, we probably get, everybody probably gets tweeted at about tanking and things like that. We don't really care about none of that. Um, you know, we work hard on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Um, you know, this is our job to go out here and perform at the highest level. Uh, you know, guys can't go out there and just throw the ball up and try to miss every shot, you know, just so you can lose. Uh, you know, if a guy works at, at Walgreens, he has to put, you know, the cookies in the cookie section, then he has to do that. We have to go out there and try to make baskets. I can't control their response. Um, we're trying to develop a young group of guys. Um, we're, we're trying to install habits and a culture and just do the best we can with it. And, and you know, that's our job. We just try to do that every day. So, um, you know, you, you don't control as much as people think. And, and, you know, you don't play as bad as people think when you play bad, and you don't maybe play as good as people think when you play good. But I thought we played hard today, and that was fun. The Bulls expect Fred Hoiberg to be back with the team on Tuesday against the Hornets. At the United Center, I'm David Chasnoff. On the second game of a back-to-back, -back, the Bulls looked exhausted. So exhausted, a backup point guard shut them down. He hit a lot of shots, you know. Um, he was the guy we, we kind of wanted to help off a little bit, but make sure we contested his shots, and, and he hit them. Uh, we've got to get off to better starts. Uh, that's what it comes down to. We, we, uh, we dug ourselves an eight-point hole in that first quarter, and, and the difference in the game is 11. Uh, but, you know, again, our guys, it had nothing to do with effort. You know, our guys came out, and uh, after a tough night, an emotional night, uh, you know, had a little something to do probably with the start, but, you know, we hung in there and, and, uh, and stayed in the game and had a chance. And, uh, you know, that, that's all we can ask of our guys, to go out and play hard and play with effort and play together, and I thought they did that. Next up for Chicago is a date with the Orlando Magic on Monday night. At the United Center, I'm David Chasanoff.